Hey, what is up? Welcome to the solo bandos method. The method that I'm using is extremely simple. I've used this method to acquire over 1000 kill count on bandos boss. Now I'm crying in Iron Man right now, which is why I've done so many, but the method that I'm using is completely easy and simple to set up. You can see my tile markers here, a couple of filthy mains in the room. The tile markers I have set up are extremely important one in front of the altar in the center of the altar, and then one every three tiles. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then this is the tile that we're gonna start each kill on. But the first thing that we have to do is enter the room. So the, I'm gonna pre-pot. My um, health bar is about to regen, just regen. So I'm gonna pre-pot angler and mage, throw on my um, preserve and enter the room. Quickly throw a protector from melee and summon my thrall, attack guard or once so that my thrall gets on him, and then uh, run to this spot right here. He's gonna attack me on the same tick he attacks me. I'm gonna throw up my regular prayers and then start the cycle. Now I can do a, an attack every four ticks. You have to use a four tick weapon for this attack, for this cycle to work. And then easily just kite the boss. This method has been so easy. I've gotten over one kill trips. I have gotten 50 kill trips. Um, I've gotten over 1K kills overall. Very easy. Just over the last couple of days while well, I've been farming Bandos boss. Now, I have died a couple of times because, um, you know, I'm not perfect. I don't do tick manipulation perfectly or um, perfect tick perfect methods. But this method is so easy and it's reliable now here's where I save a bunch of food. I'm gonna prayer flick two of the minions, just two of them, you don't need to do all three. It helps if you can do all three, but um, I'm only concerned in, in doing two really. Here we go, uh, melee minions dead, and that way, that means I'm gonna take zero damage for the rest of this, this, this kill. So as you can see, it's extremely simple. It makes um, doing bandos very relaxed, reclined, luxurious even. And I've made a lot of GP in this, but of course I'm an Iron Man, so what's it gonna do? Pay for my deaths, maybe, in the future. All right, I'll show you, uh, yeah. So with the blowpipe, easily restored all of my HP. It doesn't happen every time though, which is why I also bring the bones to peaches just to heal up in case I need it. I don't always need it but it's very nice to have. And then it is the first kill, so I'm gonna make use of the altar and control walking. So I do some control walking. I can pick up all the coins. I do pick up all the coins because honestly, I've gotten a lot of coin drops, um, over six or seven million in coin drops alone. So I'm gonna take them. I got 10 seconds. I'm gonna turn on, I'm gonna flick my prayers and then turn on um, or some of my thralls and then uh, go for the boss. So here we go, three seconds, flick my prayers, summon thralls. Now attack, run, attack, run, attack, run. That's it, attack, shoot, attack, run. Now the door altar method is named so because on the ends of the cycle, you click the altar and the door. So it's only important to click after this attack. Now I can just run, click the altar. Now I can just run. There we go. And I'm going to flick two. Actually, these are all off ticks. So nope, they're not. Never mind. All right, there you go. There you have it. There is the simplest Bandos method that you could possibly imagine the door altar method um i don't even know how many how many ticks per cycle or how many uh attacks i get per cycle it's just it whatever it is bandos boss doesn't hit me a single time and that's why i can get so many kills per trip very very easy and usually i have one spec per per kill just to give you an idea of the timing generally um, and then when I need to heal up, a lot of times I'll get enough food that I need to sustain my trips. I will get prayer restores in drops from uh, Bandos itself. 
And then when I'm really hurting, I'll just get some bones. Right now I'm going to eat a manta ray. Or I'm going to drop this manta ray and pick up some bones. There we go. There we go. Get a couple of peaches. And we're back in cycle. So I'll show you the prayers that I'm using. I'm using just the eagle eye and protect from missiles along with keeping preserve up. That's why I just turn the prayers off manually every time and I flick it in between the boss. So here you go. Flick, summon, attack, alter. And you're in cycle. If Bandos does not hit you, then you can proceed taking minimal damage only from two of the minions. And hopefully you get better luck than I do. So there we go. I'm going to show you what happens if you run out of cycle. You just skip. Attack cycle. You run to this spot right here. Gardor attacks you in the same tick he attacks you. Start the cycle over. Really that easy. Um, I've done it every time. I even let my prayer, my health get very low. Um, keep in mind though, you can get comboed by the mage and melee minion. And it's most, most lethal when you're on these sides here, when you're running past the melee minion. But the red X method uh, prevents a lot of the damage that you can get from the melee minion. There you have it. That's it. It's a very simple method. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Let's see if I can kill Gordor. Yep, there we go. And then eat up. I attack the melee minion first, just out of ease. Oh, look, they're all three off cycles, so I can pray against every single one of them. There you go. There's three kills to demonstrate my efficiency. As you can tell, I am uh, not perfectly efficient, but you know I've used this method to make over a thousand kills. And uh, I'm going to keep going until I get the tacits or I get so burnt out that I actually go to next and I find some next teams. Good luck. May the door alter method be ever in your favor.